All right, welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. This chapter, we're going to be going over the super bias process. That is under process, all processes, and then super bias. We will want to open up our master bias file that we created in the last chapter. And this is one of the simpler processes to use. According to Chiron's tutorial, we, if we had, if the bias was created by 50 or more individual uh, frames, we want to drop this from a seven to a six. So we will, since because we use 200 frames. Otherwise, we leave everything default, and then we simply select the master bias and click the apply button and let it run this one generally runs pretty quick and here we have it so let's stretch that and see what we have it looks pretty ugly but that's because I believe it's in an 8-bit format so if we come up here to this little screen with 24 that gives us a 24-bit format cleans it up a little bit got a little hot spot down here in the middle cold down here in the lower right and lots of banding so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that XISF so all I do is I just select the bias name and then we say replace master with super. Click save. Okay. And that is it for the super bias process. Quick, easy, and according to Chiron's page, it's the equivalent if we had thousands of images and we had stacked them. Uh, obviously, we don't want to take thousands of images and stack them because that would just take way too long. It took 25 minutes to stack 200. A few thousand would just take too long. So it came up with the super bias process, which makes it a lot easier on us. And uh, the other note. Again, if we had had 50 or under 50 for our bias, we would have left that at a 7. Other than that, we're done with this chapter. It was quick, easy. So I'm going to wish you a good rest of your day. See you in the next chapter. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, and as always, clear skies.